Masson. Again, starting the attack from his own half, Don Masson. Here he is again. Looking for Dalglish. Little shove by Mills, was it? Still Dalglish. And Mills twice there, tucking in. And Dalglish looks towards the line and gets nothing. Mills going in behind him the first time. Dalglish shielding it well. And did Mills use his arms fairly or unfairly? Anyway, it's a goal kick. Shannon. Neil. Just got it away in time. Greenoff. Torbert with Mills outside. Forsyth's tackle on Shannon. So a free kick to England, which will be taken by Kennedy. Watson is up for it, number five. It came to Greenoff! And the goalkeeper turned the header over. It would seem a corner's been given anyway. Greenoff came in behind the others, completely unmarked, so they took the defence away. Now, did Ruff touch that? I think he did. This Shannon for England. Pearson is coming in from the far post. Foul by McQueen. England now beginning to look promising. One or two good runs up front, committing the Scottish defenders. Kennedy arriving. And England have been working on that this week in training, trying to get Kennedy in at the far post, where they think Scotland might be exposed in the air. Donachie, Johnston, Hartford again, McGrain, Rioch, this is a bit too long, handball by Neil. I think he felt that Dalglish was pushing him, but he certainly handled it. Johnston to Hartford. Oh, well played. Johnston again. Rioch is coming in. It went on to Dalglish. Dalglish again. And it's there. and thousands of supporters. Brilliant ball from Hartford down the line to Willie Johnston. The ball curled back, Bruce Rioch getting the header in. 
It ran on from Makari. Dalglish got the first shot, blocked by the defender. Dalglish went in again, and perhaps with the help of the deflection, it went over the line. Makari in well, now it's Rioc. Dalglish just ahead of him. Hartford saw some space. Clements was well positioned on the six yard line. Hartford shot. Mills. Pearson trying to hold his man off. This is Cherry. Found a way through there almost. Now, what can Tuart do? But McGrain, taking a knock as he did so, got the ball away. Francis certainly kept going well, Francis. He's probably been England's most consistent attacker. Got it back from Pearson. McQueen went in, and the referee has given a penalty, has he? McQueen going in on Francis, and the referee says it was illegal, and a penalty has been given. Francis played the one too nicely, McQueen came over. Did he play the ball, or did he play the man? But it was a close one, perhaps, but the penalty's been given, and England now have been given perhaps a very late kiss of life, if Shan can put this away, we could be on to quite a last couple of minutes. And he does. For Scythe, so cool. Referee has checked his watch. And we're in injury time, and there isn't much of that. It's all over. And that is the first time in Wembley history that England have been beaten here three times in one season. And Scotland are the third side to beat them here. Holland came and won, Wales came and won, and Ali McLeod, Scotland, in his first match as manager against England, have gained their first victory over the old enemy since 1967. A ten-year wait it's been, they invaded the pitch ten years ago, and they're here again. The Wembley fence is not yet up, so the fans have come over the barriers. England's players walking sadly away. And the Scots, who, let's be fair, thoroughly deserve the win. A late penalty, perhaps, making the scoreline more respectable for England, who had their best spell in the second half. But Scotland with a goal just before half-time. And an important second one from Dalglish. Have won the Home International Championship outright in Bruce Rioch's first season as captain. The scene so typically Scottish. This biannual pilgrimage hasn't been a happy one over the last few years, but there's certainly going to be some celebrations tonight. And the Wembley pitch, perhaps one shouldn't say anything uh, other than critical about this because crowd invasions have been one of the reasons why fences have gone up everywhere and indeed are going up at Wembley. And you're really divided between appreciating the delight of the Scottish fans but not wanting to see the ground pulled apart like this. They've even knocked the goals down and broken the crossbar.